<laughs> so so hard not to sing the songs that I'm going to be serenading you with very factually later. <laughs> factually? I'm like, how do I say like in in a stated way instead of a singing way? Well, you probably shouldn't start with the word serenade. But that's that's the irony, though. It's funny, right? Because I'm serenading you by saying words instead of singing them. Because isn't that what a joke is? It's like the contrast between whatever. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to the Evan and Caitlin podcast where I stink at making jokes. You're really good at jokes. <laughs> All right, guys. We have a, another awesome podcast for you today. Uh, so awesome. I'm gonna say that every single time because every podcast is awesome. It's true. <laughs> but it's I'll uh, be like up your backup singer. Yeah. So awesome. It's so true. awesome. <laughs> oh, you're so good at words. Good so joke. good at words. Words aren't hard. Good joke. Words aren't hard for us. We're so good at words. Um, but today we're gonna be mainly talking about like moving, um, our dream shop potentially in the future, and we're gonna mm-hmm. chat with our friend April, who actually has built her dream shop. So she's gone through it. So it'll be interesting to get her perspective on uh what what the process was like for her? April Wilkerson. She's if you don't know, she, <laughs> there's she only one it. April in the world. <laughs> yeah, she needs we'll no introduce intro. her in a second. Um, <laughs> and then uh, after that, we are going to play a very fun game. A very fun game. One of my favorites. It's another music based game, and it's we, one that we've done before. And it's where we just say the words instead of singing them, and then we need to guess what the actual song is. Yeah. But it's, it's it is really hard because I do just want to sing them right now. I've been like listening to well, them you and just looking did up yours lyrics. Last minute, just yeah. right before we started recording, so they're all fresh in your head. I've had some time to like so step fresh. away from mine. Yeah. <laughs> but now well, I'm thinking about that. Well, okay. let, let's do an intro for April. So yeah, April. So April Wilkerson. She has a channel on YouTube. Um, and she makes lots of different types of things. Like she builds insane structures. She I, I feel does a like, lot of woodworking, metalworking. She's really good at welding. She's, um, yeah, she's, she's come just, up with a few of her own, like really cool original designs. Yeah. She's just like so impressive. She's very like, she just makes crazy big stuff. I mean, she makes smaller things too, but, but the, the cool thing is she sets no limits for herself yeah, and she what she can do limits. and what yeah. she can take on and everything and yeah. <clears throat> um she recently built i don't even know how big it is but it's like a giant it's definitely giant it's house. bigger than her house it's bigger than our house <laughs> it's a giant shop it's a giant shop that and she has... literally built herself she had like a couple people come and help out but it wasn't like hiring it out like she built Put up it the walls herself. the roof the everything, everything. it's yeah. crazy so so we first the first time we met april it was we had like we did like a Skype call or something. Yeah, how did and that was, happen? Did we reach out to her? We reached out to her. Yeah. It was it was pretty early in our like YouTube history. Um and it was cuz we had gotten reached out to. It was like the first time we got reached out to by a production company interested yeah. in pitching a show to us and doing like a sizzle reel for us. And this wasn't the story that we told in like episode like 2, two or, or something whatever. where we'll, we we'll, talked we'll about the, the TV correct show. We'll put the number on yeah. screen and <laughs> Uh, in, in the, the description. show notes, yeah. yeah. Um, it was a different show. Um, so this is our very first one, and we never and been we reached like, out before. What's going on? What is life? What is reality? Well, and we knew <laughs> that April had just done a show and had, I think, a pilot come out mm-hmm. for for the show that she um, had tried out. And I don't think the show panned out, right? I don't, I don't think, think it so. went no, past the pilot. No. But like, um, at the time, it was it was just in in pilot mode, and we're like, oh. We, we just saw online that she had just done this. It would all be really fresh. I wonder if she'll talk to us about her experience. Um, and even though we had never, I mean, we'd kind of like chatted in comments very, very. And we were small fries at that point, right? We were very small. <laughs> yeah, we had very, just barely chatted in comments, but she was nice enough to have like, we, we probably chatted for like an hour in a video chat just talking about like, TV behind the scenes stuff and TV versus YouTube and things to watch out for if you're talking to production companies. There's a companies. lot to watch out for. I'm not sure how much we talked about it in the last episode, but like, you know, who owns the rights to your merch or something, you know? Because if we're yeah. Evan and Caitlin and we sell Evan and Caitlin merch, now we're bringing that brand to the show, but like, the show can write it into the contract that. That they, they, they are own making your brand. your brand like a bigger thing, so then that you have to give them part of your merch going forward. There's all sorts of really tricky things that yeah. go into negotiating a contract like that. Yeah. So, so even though even though like that wasn't a show that made it past the initial call for us, like we felt a lot more confident even like 
tiptoeing into that world. Yeah, and like negotiating and knowing what to look out for and everything. Yeah. It was it was good. It was yeah. really helpful. And then I think the first time we hung out was um, <laughs> adventure was, time. <laughs> yeah, there's an event called Stafta, and it's it's really more um, you know a lot of for the, industry. Yeah, it's really more for like people in the industry, not so much for like content creators. Yeah. But um, uh, April had heard about it because um, Brad Rodriguez and John Malecki, um, who are also makers, you know, they have YouTube channels, podcasts, Instagram, makers in the space. They were going and it was in Austin. And we're pretty close to Austin. We're pretty close to Austin. Mm-hmm. So April was like, hey, you guys should should come by for this event, you know. <laughs> and from Animal Trades is, come, is in town. And so, like, she's going to go. Oh, man, we're going to have to, like, here. tell some sketchy details of how we got in and everything. <laughs> oh yes. man so basically we gonna, we're, we're gonna we're gonna come clean about this i think we should come clean i think we it. should come clean okay okay so, so a lot of times at events you can if you have a youtube channel even if it's small because we were pretty small at the time you can get like a media pass yeah and it's because because it, cheaper it, it, or it's free it really does bring some nice publicity and it's for a very yeah no it's price. like a legit it's, thing. it's legit it's it's with the assumption uh, assumption yeah. that you you as someone who like has some sort of like social media where try not to come across as entitled no no no. it's i mean it's usually a really good trade you know yeah yeah no it is it is a really good trade and like a lot of events will will do this yeah um and so we were like well maybe we'll see if we can get a meeting we just went very confidently and we're like you know what in worst case scenario it'll probably not be too much we'll just pay to get in yeah we'll just we'll just pay no big deal no, it was like several hundred a person. You had to like be a member. You had to and be a member. You had to buy. You had to be like a year long member, and then you had to buy this ridiculous ticket. It'd be like four hundred dollars or something like that. It was like yeah, it was several it was hundreds crazy. of dollars. It was crazy. And the only people, like, I, I don't well, even cause, remember because some of the people that were there were invited by companies like oh, Diablo yeah. Blades and all that stuff. So some of them had passes from the companies who were doing demos there. And it was the two of us and Anne who didn't have tickets. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so how do we get in? I don't know. I remember how we got into the after party. Yeah. How did we get in? Well, because there was Did we a... just like sneak no, in? No, 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 no. We no. didn't sneak in. No, we didn't no, no, sneak in. No, but like in. To, the, to the main event. Oh, to the event? I don't actually remember. <laughs> we did some shenanigans with badges and passes and stuff like that. There were some shenanigans. It might have been the same thing we did to get into the after party. Yeah. Which was... We, because you could bring spouses, <laughs> and so there, 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 it was Evan and I, April, Anne, Brad, and John. Yeah, and three people had passes, and three did not. And three were male, and three were female. Yes. So basically, <laughs> you pretended like you were married to April. Yes. Anne was married to John, and I was married to Brad. So we had to, like, get our name passes and stuff, and it was, like, really, like, <laughs> sketchy and, like, kind of awkward, and we didn't – no one knew what they were doing, but, like, it all worked. It was an adventure. It was a bonding it was an experience. Adventure. It was It was great struggling against the adversity of yes. paying money. Of the man, yeah. <laughs> and, like, going around and, like, you know, talking to different potential sponsors and – yeah. You know, all, all of that jazz. That's yeah. the thing that all of us do behind the scenes a I lot don't of the time. Think anything actually came of it in terms of talking to sponsors for us because it ended yeah, up being more of like an industry right. talk. And most people were like, YouTubers? Yeah, it was so strange because on the so consumer we just ended up side of things, around. <laughs> on the consumer side of things, it's like people kind of understand what YouTube is and what our market can bring to companies. But like but at that event, consumers that watch this kind of content on youtube yeah staff it was all business to business not yeah. business to consumer so it was it wasn't the right fit for us really but we got some good experience of it talking was, and it was pitching a fun adventure stuff. it was a fun adventure it was fun totally adventure. worth the time <laughs> so yeah. so that's when we oh, like first oh, we like really up, hung we, out yeah oh yeah also ended up because we were gonna like drive an hour to stay at my parents house oh yeah and then and like we, and, but then we, the it, after we were party. so tired and we were like oh man so we ended up we stayed having, out till like midnight or something like that so late for us so, so midnight can you imagine that <laughs> so late we shared like one drink um <laughs> but so we ended up having an impromptu sleepover with Anne and april <laughs> yeah. in there. so we all shared a hotel room the four of us yeah, and then was there a second day after that, or did we just peace out after that? I don't even know. It was a hazy memory. Because <laughs> that one drink was there. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was a while back. But it was, it was a fun adventure. That was one of our 
it, it was one of our earlier events. Um, and it yeah. really, the event wasn't, it wasn't about the event. It was just about like hanging out and I'm glad we got to hang out with everyone. Yeah. But, yeah. But it was, it was also, so after that, you know, um, we, we haven't hung out too much. We did go up there once for a spoon carving. Oh, that was, that, that's why we were there for a second day. Oh yeah. That that's was the same that was, time. Okay, okay. I was like, something else happened. So, we, um, <laughs> so Anne was going to teach April how to carve spoons. Yeah. How to like, hand and we kind of them. just like tagged along cause we were like, Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. And, um, man, hand carving and hand tools are a lot of work and so they're very work. hard <laughs> it's, so it's, much work. It's, it's i'm kind hard of embarrassed to admit that my spoon is still unfinished <laughs> me too it's still unfinished it's, it's part way there it's part way i'm sorry there. ann <laughs> well also we don't have the tools anymore yes that's because ann, ann brought all of her fancy tools and we couldn't do it in the seven hours we were carving <laughs> we, together <laughs> no <laughs> but like, you know it was really interesting going through the whole process of like it was cool you know we we, we chainsawed down a tree mm-hmm. that was in april's yard Mm -hmm. and then we sliced it on the bandsaw and stuff and we learned some about like the grain and hand carving and all that jazz but the ones we ended up carving were um not the one we chopped down oh yeah 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 because it it wasn't like the right level of green or it wasn't the yeah we were were working in unideal like circumstances for carving yeah so we ended up carving like walnut (laughs) Yeah, that was like all dry and yeah. green carving is evidently. I don't know. There's there's a lot that goes into hand woodworking. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but anyway, should we jump into the interview with April? Yeah, yeah. Let's just jump go into the past. Right into it. Oh, I thought you were gonna say oh. jump right into it. Let's just jump right into it. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> if you want to talk quieter, it's talking to the top. Yeah. Because like, oh, yeah. <laughs> just, this is just like go, go like this. Go like this. Hey, is it? Are these y'all's? Yeah. 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 Hey, the other day I said y'all's guys, and I like mixed <laughs> north and south, yeah. and I thought, yeah, yeah. that sounds dumb. Pull like a full John Malecki and go yins. <laughs> no, I don't, like, I don't like yins. I was like, I didn't I was know confused. that was I didn't know thing. that it was a thing. I thought he was trying to make it a thing. I thought he oh, was trying to make it a thing. thing. It's it is a thing. thing. Oh, no, it's I don't like it. Don't let me Google it. Don't say yins. This is a public service announcement <laughs> brought to you by the Ethnic Given Podcast. Wait, John is not listening to this. <laughs> so I think the main thing that we wanted to kind of get your opinion on is about building your shop. Because that okay. is amazing and we sometime in the future want to do that to so we want to yeah maybe well i mean well, we're, like, we're out fresh of space your head. currently yeah and yeah well are your both your rooms are like robot room yep. yeah and the other one's dedicated to podcast more robots and, oh, okay. yeah. Pod- podcast and um <laughs> yes. office yeah so yeah. like of the three bedrooms there's one bedroom there's one <laughs> robot room yeah. there's one Office, Podcast slash office, office space. and then our entire garage. We yeah. just gave up on ever parking in there again. Oh, no, no, ever. no, no, that won't happen. It's like yeah. remember that one episode where we redid, redid our garage and we parked our cars there afterwards, so naively thinking yeah. that we were going to keep it that way in the future. <laughs> this creates more work for the next oh. setup of the project. Yeah, no, 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 it's, uh, so it's pretty bad. What do you want to like organizing? Or how to jump into it? What's budget? What's the so question? like? What were what were some of the things that like looking back on that you wish you had have known? Any like like oh i should have done this or like this was ended up being way harder than i thought or way more time consuming okay yeah um man, try to like you know, put you right on the spot no it's, it's great <laughs> i did a lot of research and pretty much if there was a, a shop series on youtube i mm-hmm. watched it and i mean it's okay but honestly it's just a big rectangle and yeah. i didn't i don't want to get super uh segmented and have a bunch yeah. of different rooms like i wanted a big space and then just to be able to move and like maybe do like uh removable curtains like i just want very flexible open space so then if you yeah. take it in that direction the main thing that you have to figure out is how big do you want it and then what what is that displacement yeah. like length and width and then once you get that everything else is just is it wood or metal and then it, it becomes like way more simplified for you but uh the things that i wished i would have known right off the bat is don't go through a, a, a general contractor for a really? concrete guy. For because oh. I did everything myself, and I knew yeah. I was going to, except for the slab. I wanted to hire that out, but yeah. I went through a GC, and they charged about fifteen thousand dollars just for contacting the concrete guys. What? Yeah. So I, I mean, like the concrete guys, I could have, if I would have done a little bit of research just to go directly to them, I paid a GC just fifteen grand just to call up his dude. That's crazy. Saying, hey, this is this is the site that you need to be at. You know what I mean? I always wonder about general contractors because I'm like <laughs> I'm the type like I didn't want a wedding planner. I was like I'm gonna do it. I don't want to be charged for that stuff. And I feel like if we were ever doing a big home renovation where we did have to outsource some things, yeah. I would be tempted to be our own general contractor. But then like 
you know, I it's how much to, babysitting you want to do. But it's yeah. also, it's like, I think that sometimes they're charging for their experience of like, first you need to do this and then this Definitely. and then this and like, and if I were doing the entire stuff. shop or uh, even like yeah. the major steps up to, uh, like if I were going to be doing the framing, the roof and like pretty much until it was a weather thing, then yeah. going through a GC and one you, cause those are all different crews, keeping yeah. the scheduling and then keeping them accountable. I will pay you to babysit and yeah. to do that for me, but just pouring the concrete. That's all I want you for. No, I can do the research for finding yeah. the concrete crew yeah. and save myself fifteen thousand dollars and wow. then take it from there you know that's what i mean insane. yeah that's crazy and the only reason i know that is because the concrete crew gave me the invoice that they were what? for for the gc oh, and so that's no. how i was like oh what's his charge what? <laughs> you know? so, oh man tea. and he was like no this isn't for you this is for the, the 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 general contractor and i was really confused about why he gave it to me in the yeah. first place i think it was just a mistake yeah. but i was still like oh, this keep me on how much money i just like spent over that i didn't necessarily need to Wow. Dang. So that was a big thing. But honestly, everything else from the shop, uh, it took about as long as I was thinking. It was as hard as I was thinking. <laughs> and Which was it decently was, hard. Yeah, it was very hard. But it was, a uh, well... The hard part is it, it's two giant tasks. Not only building the yeah. shop, which is difficult in itself, but then uh, the capturing it and producing the videos on how to tell this massive story. Well, and you lost a decent amount of footage, right? Mm, I did. From yeah. the most it's important, like, like <laughs> framing and trusses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The pain, I remember you, I, I don't know if you texted or Instagram message Instagram. or something. And it, like the pain I felt yeah. for you was so tangible because that's like the worst thing. And especially um, during the big steps of framing and yeah. setting trusses. Thankfully, I was able to stream together. And, and that taught me a really valuable lesson on just how like much of a good story you can tell with yeah. such little nuggets. Of, mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so now anytime I have like a glitch, I've actually think to myself, it's fine. I've done worse. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you, you've already gone through the worst case yeah. scenario. Yeah. You, went, you went through and it. I was and happy yeah. with the result. Yeah. I was able to tell it like it's still a good story yeah. Yeah. with the little bit that I was able to recover. And I, mean, I was like, oh, okay. If I hadn't known that you had lost footage, watching the video, I wouldn't have known. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because it seems, and there's maybe more of you talking directly to the yeah. camera in that video than a mm -hmm. normal video, but it just seemed like that was fitting because it was such a big story to tell. To tell. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I wouldn't have known. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's like a good exercise. Size. It was, yeah. It taught me a valuable lesson. Yeah. So I don't, I don't really sweat it, and it also has me cutting back on the amount that I'm capturing, especially like oh. I just recently did a bandsaw mill, yeah. another huge undertaking, and like I didn't film so much, and I just, yeah. I was thinking to myself, this is okay because I know that I'm only going to be using that 15 seconds there, and then I have this over here, and that's going to accumulate to the two minutes that I need yeah. to yeah. tell this one big step, you know. Yeah, and, and every hour of footage you record is more to edit. Yeah, post-production. So it's like, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. more and you record, the more and, work it is. So for the band summer, it was you, Matt Cremona, Johnny Brown, Johnny, yeah, and JD. and JD. So is that the biggest, like, in-person collaboration you've done, like, with the most people? Yeah, I mean, other than the time that y'all came with Anne. Oh, yeah, with oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the four of us, too. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because that was that so was last so minute, I don't, it was just like, oh, yeah, we just popped Come in. and hang out. Yeah. Carved spoons. <laughs> yeah, this was, like, I think the first collaboration that I actively planned. Like, I don't do a lot of collaborations. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was big. And now I'm, like, so on to the idea of, let's do this traveling thing on mm -hmm. yeah. like what's the next big thing that somebody needs help with that like six of us can get together like jimmy doing that yeah. a, a tp erection yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, that was I awesome love the concept like and if, and if my shop wasn't on my home property i would have loved to just say any content creator that wants to show up and help yeah. come with it but it would just at that point and being in the time frame like we would have been in each other's way you know yeah. what i mean yeah but i do like the idea of like Getting a barn raising. Yeah. yeah exactly. That's so cool. It, that is really cool. What do y'all need? Hey, y'all want to shop? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> we so want to shop. Yeah. We probably need to move first. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> hey, move to my area. I would love y'all as neighbors. We've, we've, we've thought of it. We've I mean, considered it. Because we want to be, if we are going to go through the trouble of moving, we want to be somewhere where we do have more space. Yeah. We can't yeah. build a big shop because we're in the suburbs right now. And it's yeah. like, yeah. yeah. No, you There's just no can't. space. But also, we, we've evaluated, like, where in the world do we want to live? Yeah. And like every time we travel, I mean, of course, California is like so nice, so but nice, but it's way, way. It's like it's so impractical in terms of price and expensive. And yeah, this yeah. is really just price. Yeah. <laughs> and and also con constructing stuff there. I mean, Ben Ueda, the his his series that he did, and like he had to put sprinklers in. They wouldn't let him build like a small thing. Like all of the trouble he went through because it was in California yep. was just like. Money, 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 money on top of money. All right, quick aside, Ben Ueda, he has a channel called Homemade Modern, but he actually made an entire new channel called... Uh. <laughs> 
It's for his tiny house. The Modern Home Project. The Modern Home Project. Yeah, I totally knew that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely I definitely remember that. No, but it's it's really cool. He um, built a shipping container tiny house in the... Not tiny, tiny house, but like kind of tiny house. Yeah. Well, he intended it for it to be tiny, but also... But actually, <clears throat> California wouldn't allow him to make it as tiny as he wanted it to. Yeah. <laughs> which is crazy. And he has a whole channel about that home. Yeah, yeah. Where he so covers he, it from beginning to end. It's a shipping container house. He built it out in the desert. It's super cool. It's so crazy. Um, whoop, so we'll, we'll, we'll link that below. Yeah, just to give context for what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but we should we should have him on sometime to like oh. talk about not only that whole experience, but also starting a new channel. I know. For a series. That's like a risky move, but it's it's working well for him. I know. Yeah, we should yeah. talk to him. Back, okay. Right, well, back to it. Back to it. Yeah. yeah so since like, I live outside of the city limits, I yeah. have no restrictions. The only thing I had to go through some sort of like actual structured process was to bring power in. That's only because I had yeah. to set a new pole and get a 200 amp service. Yeah, you know? but, but really the, the, the area that you're in is probably one of our ideal areas. I mean, I close, close to big cities, close enough that close if you ever need you something there. from there, exactly. you can get it. Yeah. But also a big enough little city that you still have access to all the things you want and exactly. restaurants yeah. when you need it mm-hmm. and stuff like that. You can go yeah. make like project supply runs yeah <laughs> exactly and, and it's not an like a day nearby. trip yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah that's really cool but with the shop if y'all did that how fun would it be like to every single week bring in like a new five or six people yes. you know what i mean Gosh, that'd, that'd be, be so just, good like, cool. a massive i love the idea because the bandsaw mill it was it was hard work to constrict such a, a large thing or confine it to five days yeah but uh it made us all it was a lot of fun yeah. you know yeah. well i think another thing that's so crazy is every time we we meet up with people in real life and we're working together, seeing how they film, seeing how they go exactly. about their tasks, their process. seeing like all of their workflow. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I get it now, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. And then it's so it's hard so to do it without being there and seeing it. So uh, JD is a metal welding yeah. fabricator. Yeah. We met professional. him last Workbench Con for the first time. Yeah. So yeah. To his shop. Exactly. Yeah. So, but he's just in a completely different space, even though he's still like using his hands and tools. Yeah. And one of his go-to tools is a laser measure, you know, a point and shoot. Yeah. And it tells you. And like at one point when it's a 12 foot bed by six feet wide. So it's a big thing to try to get into square and take diagonals on Matt. Matt and I were pulling out our tapes to try to get diagonals and check for square. JD pulls out this laser measure and checks it and checks it and it's just he's pointing and shooting and i'm like whoa <laughs> you just boom you know this yeah. is gonna be like and then he did it like six or seven times throughout the project where he just like really implemented this tool that i i mean i know that it's useful but i've never seen it implemented in yeah. making so i never yeah. associated it with how useful and now it's like i'm getting one of those and i'm gonna like why would i not use this direct measure instead of having to hook on you know yeah. what i mean yeah. and we, we always come back with tool lists we're like oh let's get oh. more tools every time we were into <laughs> someone else's shop and stuff yeah yeah. But after being in Johnny's shop, that was like the most tool and me. The oh, shop wait, was so Caitlin. set up. Talk, try talking one more time. Beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Sorry. No, no worries. Hello. Hey. Oh, no, this is your talking partner. No. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. <clears throat> uh, so we're talking about tools. We're talking about shops. We're talking about builds and collaborations and all of that stuff. Do you have any like dream collabs? Like someone who you haven't collaborated with? I haven't collaborated with the majority of people. You know what I mean? That's so, true. And like, I never, I never try to think I want to collaborate with this person. So what can I make? Yeah. But if it comes up, like I did my, my shop build with George. Yeah. And that just, I, I just treat it very organically. I needed to build a shop yeah. and I knew my buddy George was a framer. So I said, how about you come in on it? You know what I mean? Like you yeah. guys were in the neck of the woods. So I said, hey, y'all want to come over for the spoon? Yeah. Like I, just, I just treat things like really willy nilly like, but I love the idea of collaborating. It's just so much work and effort. You it's know so what much, I mean? It is, it's yeah. so much work. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, don't, I don't put effort into it. I just let it happen. And then if yeah. it happens and I want to pursue it, then I, then I, then I chase after it. Yeah. You know? One thing I was curious about is we're really, we really like that our shop is right on our, like on our house. We, yeah. you know, we can go do a paint of, finish or whatever and we can go cook a meal or edit or whatever go down in your pjs yeah yeah. exactly so do you find like that slight separation kind of nice in some way because like when you leave you're kind of done but it's still so close that it's kind of convenient i've never had a a, like before whenever my shop was attached i've never had an association of i'm out i'm I'm outside of my home it's now work time like i work all the time like you guys so um and so it 
it would be nicer if the shop were closer to the house just so that yeah. I could make that transition to throw on an extra coat of finish uh, quicker uh -huh. or easier. Or if I left my laptop down there or whatever it is, or my ISO tunes, then I don't have such a long thing. But um, it's just not practical to build such a, like my shop is bigger than my house. So, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it wouldn't be practical Priorities. to build it yeah, <laughs> onto it. And um, I, think, I think it's fine either way. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause I was thinking like sometimes it's, I was thinking that like a slight distance might be beneficial to us because we have a hard time stopping. Yeah. But then the problem is like, even if you stop in the shop, you have your laptop with you and yeah. then you can just edit or yeah. do yeah, more. I mean, so it's like, a, gonna have just a, it doesn't really, it won't really help as much as we might think. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. But I mean, if you're going to build a bigger shop than a two car garage, then aesthetically it'll look better. And I always like, I even building my shop, I was thinking about resale value for the yeah. property and my house. And it just made sense to, to do a, a separate structure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we no, we even thought like once, like let's just build a big barn and in the corner, let's build a little house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, or even like, like John Peters to where it's two story or like Jimmy just did, like it will be two story, yeah. you know? So that, that's something. Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't enjoy that because then I would always be like, if he's working downstairs yeah. and you're upstairs trying to sleep or vice versa, <laughs> I just, I want to be able to blare music and use my yeah. tools and not have to worry yeah. about it. The DC, you know? Yeah. yeah, that's true. That does make yeah, a lot of it sense. It makes sense for it to be Man, on I'm so excited. Systems. I hope you guys end up moving to the, uh, to the local area. But you it's, just can't tell anybody where it's at. Yeah. No. Yeah. The, the local area. <laughs> the local area. The local watering hole. In so the one, U.S. <laughs> one, one thing that's interesting is, I mean, I think that at a certain point, we'll stop growing our tool collection. But have you found that having more space, do you think, do you ever think that you might fill it all the way up? Oh, I definitely will. <laughs> I don't think there's any amount of space that you could have that you're never going to eventually fill. Yeah. And that's like why whenever I build stuff, I'm still always thinking, what's the limit? Like, like, what's the most functional how do I utilize the space best for this? And people are like, why are you worrying about it? Like you have enormous space, but it's like, yeah, but eventually it will get full. Yeah. So by me being efficient from the very get go, it's mm -hmm. just pushing off that deadline of when that comes. <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? That's true. So yeah. yeah. Cause you're like, well, I we'll have more space. I'll do the bandsaw mill. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> or anything. Or if you think to yourself, I've only been using tools for five years and look how much I've accumulated. Yeah. Like, oh, can that's you crazy imagine? Anything about it is. And, and how many different like niches and, and areas have I developed into? Yeah. So like, I'm definitely not done growing yeah. into new things. Like I might get into leather work and then I also might get into sewing. Yeah. And just those two things alone are like different sections yeah. for material storage and work area yep. and like cutting off. I'm like, and then, and then what? My shop is now, I just got into a CNC. Yeah. And it's like, I, I, I'm already seeing how I might have built it too small. But you also, it's I mean? like, it's like the, the more space you have, the more efficient you can be. Yeah. You know, because like you have everything set up, everything is good to go. And if you had to True. put everything away. We have to play a game of Tetris between every project. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or actually, it's more of a game of like move things from one surface to another surface. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like horizontal surfaces are dangerous. So it's a trade off. <laughs> like my shop is huge, so it can be efficient. Yeah. But it's going to take me a long time to get it efficient. Like right now, I don't know where my jigsaw blades are. Uh, um, you know what I mean? Like those small things, my chisels yeah. because the space is so large that and I don't I don't have I, I'm not set up yet for mm -hmm. such a large space and it's not like I set on my hands like I'm actively doing one if not two or three projects a week yeah and I've been working on it steadily for close to a year now and I'm still very far away from like I don't even have a spot for my chisels you know <laughs> what I mean so um it's it's a trade-off a small space I think it makes you more resourceful. Yeah. Um, but a large space, just it will take you time in order to get to that efficiency level. Yeah. I mean, I, I think each leads to unique content opportunities. And obstacles. You know? And obstacles, yeah. yeah. Which are opportunities in exactly. some ways, you know? Mm -hmm. I have an unrelated question. When you got here and they were like, hey, can you fill in for Anne's talk? Was that like, <laughs> how stressed out are you? Because <laughs> Oh, not at all. I really? Mean, <laughs> it's just, it's about multiple revenue streams. So it's yeah. Like, yeah. I've been doing it for, I mean, years now and yeah. i love talking business so yeah sure put me on i mean it is stressful being up on stage seeing a bunch of eyeballs instead of just a flip around screen from a camera <laughs> <laughs> i mean i find a camera so much easier to chat with but yeah um, but yeah it was fine you know yeah. i wasn't too stressed about it i love passing along information um, yeah. from the business side or the project working side yeah, and we yeah. really appreciate that i mean i think you were one of the first people who like helped us out with oh, really? figuring this out uh -huh. well i remember we had a call I don't, I don't oh, know. Yeah, like, video chat. Yeah, we yeah, had like video a video chat, chat like, like really long early time on ago. to ask mm -hmm. you about TV stuff because we had been contacted. Oh yeah, was by that a it? TV show, and we were like, 
what are April's we doing? April's done some, like, some TV stuff recently. We should ask her. Maybe she'll talk to us. Well, it really helped. I mean, like, I think we, we, we told a story in an earlier podcast where they were like, well, you'll get exposure. And you're like, no, no, no. We'll help you get exposure, yeah. you know? And like. Yeah, we'll it's, bring it's, audience to you. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's flip-flopped. Yeah. You know, all sorts of different ways. That is crazy to think about, though. It seems so long ago. Yeah. I mean, yeah. kind of. I think two or three years. I mean. Yeah, it was like two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that. That's the whole. That's our whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, hey, we don't want to keep you for too long. There's a lot going on out there. Yes. But thank you so much for Thanks joining for us on the me. podcast. What's the podcast name? Evan, Evan Kaylin Kaylin podcast. podcast. Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all, thank you so much for having me, guys. Bye. So one thing we didn't really cover in the chat with April is what we actually want in our shop. You know, like what features do we want? How big do we want it? All like of that our stuff. Dream let's shop. let's just go crazy, because like. There, there, there is like an equilibrium. Like our two car garage is too small. Yes. A giant warehouse is too big. Yes. But like, it like as I think about like a bigger and bigger and bigger space, I don't. There, are, there aren't really too many downsides except for heating and cooling, and the cost of it. Because like, like mo- more space just means more backdrops, more sets, more like That's cool actually- things. One of the things that I would be most excited about is having like better backdrops for yeah. filming. Yeah, and then we can just roll whatever thing we're doing. Like we can have like mo- mobile work things. Like we have like an entire woodworking like mobile mm. group, like a whole metalworking mobile mm. group, and like a whole mobile just like like arts or crafts or whatever. And we can set up in front of different backgrounds. So it's like we <laughs> have so cool. one whole wall just full of backgrounds. Yeah, you know, like a really wide. <laughs> white one like a green one like like one that's decorated like a set you know yeah it's, it's kind of like we're talking about like you know when, when when people are doing like tv shoots and stuff like that how they have like a sound stage yeah I, we just I, need a giant sound stage with different but, backdrops and a workshop inside of it but i wouldn't want it i don't actually want it to look like a set though like and i w- wouldn't want anything to be too perfect no no not too perfect i mean just by the nature of who i am it won't be perfect yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that i know <laughs> don't worry <laughs> uh, no that's true but it would be it would be nice to have better backdrops that's like yeah. one of the things we've struggled with in our videos because like everything <laughs> is just you're in such a small space everything's chaotic all the time and it's really hard yeah. to like carve out a little area to film in and you basically just shove everything else behind the camera and it but gets then, so visually cluttered yeah but then like as soon as i turn the camera you see all the chaos <laughs> yep. you know um but also it's like you know our shop is i think 20 by 20 or so yeah and it's a standard two car garage. like eight feet this is this this green screen behind us that's eight feet and that barely contains us within this frame so eight feet isn't wide enough to like really have a filming backdrop. You almost need like twelve feet yeah. in order to really film something realistically that that shows us shows what we're doing and it has yeah. enough room for us to work. Like a eight foot long bench and a twelve foot long backdrop. That's kind of what we need. <laughs> yeah. And and we just don't have that spare space because all of our wall is full of very important things like shelves and you know. Uh, well, just all, all sorts of crap now. But when we renovate it <laughs> one day, it'll, it'll be a little bit more organized and con- condensed. But but so if, but if we were going to start from scratch, uh, aside from backdrops, what kind of things would you do? Um, let's see. I think that would set up stations where everything is out and ready. Because mm-hmm. right now everything is in boxes. Everything is in containers. Everything is put away. And getting that out, getting it prepped, pulling it up on the thing, plugging it in and all of that stuff. That's, you know, it's, it's all little things. It's, it's, it's like I'm lucky that we have them and I'm lucky that we can do it. But it's, it's inefficiencies. And I think that making the shop as efficient as possible is the number one priority. I would like to have a room for the robots. A room for the robots, that a way whole we don't material have to have, storage room. That way we don't have to have the robots in our guest room yeah. anymore. Like my mom's in town right now and we're like, sorry about all the robots. <laughs> you know, um, one of Jao Ko, um, uh, if you haven't seen Jao Ko, whatever, um, he's a, a really cool maker. He just made a knife and everything recently. But one of his earlier videos was him setting up his dream workshop. And he kind of did it similar to how we would want to do it. But um, one of the things that he did, which I thought was really interesting, is he bought supplies in bulk and had like kind of one of everything so it's mm-hmm. like you know he he got a big storage area for all those screws and he bought like 
the, like the the screw that he's going to use from now forward, like probably a nice star drive or something. And he got it in all of the sizes and all of the lengths. So he set up his own little yeah like like lows within his shop. And Caitlin's like, oh. See, that makes me nervous. Is <laughs> that buying stuff preemptively that you don't yeah. need? That to me just says like you're going to have this forever and never <laughs> use it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's it's. I think if you get to a point where you've done enough projects and you know, like in ninety percent of my projects, I use these two types of screws. Yeah, yeah. But like, just buying. Not preemptively. I think that yeah, like I think now getting like enough storage and like you know we're always going to need two by fours, so just having some two by fours on hand. Yeah, but having like two. I don't want to have a bunch. (laughs) What about like eight? Two by fours. <laughs> okay. And some like, you know, plywood that we can just like pull down two. for whatever. Two. Two plywood. Two plywood. <laughs> just, ah, no. May I have two plywood. For plywood, please? I would actually want to have more just because we have a small car and it's yeah. not easy to get plywood but, home. Just, so just have a delivery just truck bring like whatever we would need for like oh, yeah. a year. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like things like this like looking at efficiency i think that'd be the goal of the workshop have like you know right now our drill press is underneath our workbench not plugged in like so yeah. many of our tools aren't plugged in yeah we or, just or never use go. the table saw because it's like we have a little contractor table <laughs> yeah. saw and it's like buried it's under the x carve it's under the x carve <laughs> and it's like by like getting the proper tools everything arranged ideally yeah. so that we can just go you know yeah, what i mean because we spend a lot of time I mean, of course, there's time bef- like before and after every project cleaning up and stuff and setting up. But so much of our time isn't just about like cleaning up the mess. It's about like refinagling the entire shop, shop. back into its storage locations. Yeah, you know, and, and so rearranging it's like, things. It's all like a big game of Tetris in there. <laughs> so it's like during a project, we pull things out, and then after the project, we have to put them all back and then pull out the next set of things. Yeah. You know, it's it's and the, not the most efficient. Yeah, it's it's not super efficient. And for us, I mean, the whole goal is to make videos, to make things to share with you guys. And it's like there's no benefit to like you know, the, the benefit to cleaning up is you have a cleaner shop and we're organized and stuff, but it doesn't really affect our output. Well, and that's what I was saying is it, the cleaning up you have to do regardless, but the rearranging of your shop in order yeah. to like set up for a different project. That's the stuff that I would like to eliminate. Eliminate. Yeah. Have proper dust collection in all of the places yeah. and stuff, you know. So like some someday we might move because we're not in a space where we could expand Mm-mm. our shop. But it's also hard because like I really like our house. I like our and house. We've starting... been fixing it up. We've been putting so much effort into it. I know. Not even, not even just since starting the channel since we bought the house we've been putting a lot of effort into fixing it up and so it's kind of like the the deeper we go into renovating it the harder it's going to be to move. but also it might be nice to start over with all of the skills and experience totally. that we have now it's like our attic is a mess of like you know all of the wires are all over the place all of the ac ducts are just like not in the best shape and everything and if we could start over and do try to like do things right like do things proper because like you know in the attic this i'm just using the attic as an example because it's pretty bad but like in the attic like all of the cables are just on the ground they should be like up in the ceiling along like you know properly cable managed and where everything can be seen not tripped on not accidentally cut you know all these things like that that's true if we could start over and do things like right from the beginning or if we move in and we had to fix things up we can fix things up to a higher standard I was thinking you know I mean? more about like, like, oh, well, I know we get a bunch of boxes now because we get a bunch of like, yeah. we're always ordering you tools or, or like sponsors are sending us stuff. And I'm like, okay, now I know that we need to have like some kind of area either in our office or next to the <laughs> workshop or whatever, where we have like our like inbox, but of physical <laughs> inbox things. Inbox of boxes. In our inbox. Our we'll receiving bay. Inbox. Or receiving, <laughs> yeah. you know, things like that that we I wouldn't have thought about. Um, or even beforehand. just like house things in general. It's like before we moved in to this house, we we didn't get as many things done as we wanted to. Like we got the floors done, we got mm-hmm. some of the floors done, and we did the rest later. But like we like, oh, you're thinking of things, yeah. <laughs> but like for example, it would have been great to like first off before we did the floors. T- like you know strip all of the popcorn That's off of I was all say. of the walls oh all of the ceiling like properly mm. prep all of the walls and everything and like get them like the, the the finish we want 
like the flatness that we want and, and everything like that before we do the floors and then do the floors and then all of that jazz, you know? There have been so many, so many times where I wanted to like add like cool, what is it, wainscoting, wainscoting yeah. to the walls or like a really cool trim. Chair rail or yeah. something. Chair rails are lame. I'm, no, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> chair rails are lame. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, but like, there's like a lot of really cool stuff you can do, but it only works if you don't have popcorn on your walls. Because if you have popcorn on your walls, then you have to like scrape it all off or cover it all it's up. It's like pretty intense. Like it's there's pretty some in, like pretty intense popcorn there's, there's, walls. There's, there's there's like like bumps that are more than an eighth of an inch. Like all not not a half inch, but maybe three eighths of an inch, like protruding from the wall. Yeah, they're like aggressive. Aggressive. <laughs> aggressively popcorn that's that's one of the biggest things i felt like because I, I i would read like a lot of diy blogs and i felt like i had a pretty good idea of like what to look for in terms of bones of a house and what mm. was just like cosmetic stuff that shouldn't you shouldn't let it be a big deal oh man one of the things that we saw when we were house hunting we actually oh we should tell a whole story about house hunting and then like how we almost got like an investment property and all of that jazz right. we'll save that for we'll, another story. we'll save that for another story time but one of the houses we walked into on the ceiling now that's some aggressive popcorning. Oh, they, they were like they were like razors. It was, it was like, like a razor ceiling. To lag tights. I feel like if I had have jumped, I would have cut my head open in multiple places. Yeah. They were sharp. They were so sharp. They were like, I don't even know what type of ceiling that <laughs> was. Know. Not even popcorn. It was like jagged edges <laughs> of razors on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was crazy. But that was one of the biggest things where like, <laughs> um, I underestimated how much of a big deal it would be to fix oh, the yeah. popcorn walls. Oh, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think, like, I, I do foresee us moving eventually. Yeah. Mostly because of the workshop. Yeah, mainly because of our job <laughs> and how yeah. our job is our house and our house is our job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, the, the thing, one thing we're considering is, like, if we move, do we keep this house and rent it out, have it as an income property? That's what I would like to do. Yeah, I think that I might like to do that too. And now it would be like even more work, but it is a nice... But I think we would like, probably just like get a management company so yeah. that we don't have to yeah, do that. So, so we can keep on like, you know, yeah. raising the value of the house, you know, getting income from the people living here and all of that. And when we pay off the house, it'll just be straight income and yeah. um, value of the house rising and stuff. Because we we're in a good a, neighborhood. We got to at a really cheap price and a really low interest mm -hmm. rate. So like if we can afford to get another house without selling this one and we can, you know, in terms of like having enough of the down payment, then we would like to keep this one. Yeah. I think so. that would be cool. Plus like then it'll make it less hard to move away because I really love This is our first house. Our first I love house. this house. To start collecting them. Collecting houses. <laughs> yeah. Rent well, them out. I mean, this would be, that's like a legit thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, maybe that'll uh, be the side, in, the side business. Fix up a house, move on to the next one, rent it out. That's how you oh, get an sounds, HGTV show. That sounds, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> no, I don't actually want to do that. But like when anytime we're at a point where we're like, we should move. Yeah, I would just, be open just, just to keeping the old house the if old we one. can yeah. and renting it out. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. It's, in, it's interesting to think about it right now, the thought of moving. So what other crazy things would you want in our dream shop? A slide. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mainly, honestly, I mean, I, I feel like some of the organization stuff is kind of obvious, like having, you know, stuff we already talked about, having yeah. more space to be organized and be more efficient. Honestly, the stuff that I get really excited about is just making it look really cool. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't know. I just want to have like well, so much of what art do, on the walls. Yeah. And, so much of what we do is visual, you know, and, and it's it boosted up well, by having visual interest and in think our about videos. How much time we spend in the shop. We spend a lot of time. Yeah. I'm the type of person, I get a lot of anxiety if things aren't organized. <laughs> like like a decent <laughs> amount of anxiety. I'm sorry. And I've been <laughs> it, it's it's, you know, it gets to me. And so, um, but also, like, I get a lot of enjoyment of being at a space that, that I think looks really cool. So this, I would, this is this is this room is getting better and better. This room is getting better and better. Our desk yeah. helps a lot. Yes. Um. But um. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I, was, I was patting the desk, like saying "good desk." Good desk. Good desk. <laughs> um. But yeah. So I I just think about having a really cool workshop. Like like I love Laura Comp's workshop. That looks so cool. I love what's, what's like, so what Simone is, is like, doing with her new workshop. Yeah. What's so interesting is I think that. It'd be it'd be interesting to see like what your ideal shop would be because you're drawn to two different aesthetics. I yes. feel you're drawn to like on one side a really clean aesthetic 
where everything is like kind of organized and put away and there's like white and green and like it's nice and green everything. Green as in plants? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, or, or and, and yeah, like, like nice or, or and like clean. like green as in green screen. <laughs> yeah, no, like plants and stuff yeah. and like, like nicely framed art. You're drawn to that aesthetic. And you're also drawn to like the like eclectic look. Eclectic where everything is kind of a little bit crazy and like. I like, think I would, I think I can merge them. Okay, picture, picture. <laughs> oh, wow. Picture, you have like a brick wall, yep. but it's painted white. Okay. So you have like that kind of texture, but it's yeah. not like a little clean, but not too clean. And you have art on the walls. Um, string lights. String. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah string yeah. lights. Maybe some hanging faux plants because yeah. no one's going to keep those alive. But then you also we can have just like, like... Get like a, a, a dust blower and blow them off every now and then. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> but, okay, maybe not plants. <laughs> we're just going to put pictures of plants. <laughs> um, but then, and then like pegboard with yeah. nicely organized tools. Yeah. Also, like on the wall, we might have displays of some of the stuff we've built. So it might yeah. be like a propane blaster. Yeah. You know? You know? That, that, that sounds great. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I just, yeah. that's the part I'm most excited about. And we can do a whole project about this display. And then when we get tired of it, we can just move down the wall and do another display, yeah. have different sets. Totally. Totally. <laughs> yes, I think that, like, for us, it's like go as big as we potentially could. Yeah, for the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Which like, is why we're thinking about moving farther from the city. One thing that's interesting is I think that having a long and skinnier one would work for us. So then we can have a yeah. long, like a lot of wall without the space getting too, 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 too big. That's true because like wall space is the most valuable space. Yes. If we had a big rectangle, I think we would almost have to make like little cabinet stations or even like false walls just to put stuff on against or stuff, you know? Oh, well, like if we had a, uh, I'm thinking like a big, long, like, I, I know, but, L. but, but that's not typical. Really? Typically yeah. what you'll find is this is a big square, a big rectangle for like a shop. Wait, but a, a rectangle is a, are you talking about a square? An L. Oh no, not an L. No, no. I'm not thinking like a big, like a big, long, uh, no. lowercase L. <laughs> so a line, a line. Yeah. Just like a line, right? <laughs> Typically when someone says I want it L shaped, oh. you think of a capital <laughs> L. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like a big straight, yeah. yeah, like a rectangle, but it's like a big, like skinny but long. I'm just saying you, that's harder to find. Long, long, long shop. No, we'd build it ourselves. We might. But April can help us. <laughs> <laughs> but we might be in a position where there's like a building on a property oh, already. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if it is a square, just divide it in half. So then you have two long rectangles within there. Maybe. Or. Yeah. Um, you could even like have, I imagine having like really, really big, like tall work tables in the middle of a big square that have big storage cabinets and you have like your mm. tools against the walls, but you yeah. have storage in the middle, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Like stuff a like, that. like a, like a buyant, a big giant Island. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like good. A kitchen island. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm just getting excited. I know. Like, I, I don't, it. I don't want to move, but I am pretty excited. <laughs> One day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what time it is now, guys? <laughs> Game time! <laughs> Alright, so as we mentioned earlier, we're going to be reading lyrics, and we're oh. going to be guessing what the song is. I'm so excited. I I'm so excited. List. Should I go first? If you, you have your list ready. Alright, whoever loads the list first wins. <laughs> I got it. Alright, ready? Yeah. It's my turn to fly. Proving ground tonight. Try to be the best that I can. I've grown to be a man. Only humans can understand. I fill my lungs with fear and I exhale. Oh gosh. Oh, I I know. I know. I feel like I know this. Wait. Pro proving ground tonight? What was that second line? Yeah, proving ground tonight. Proving ground? Proving ground. What does that even mean? It's my time to fly. Proving ground tonight. Try to be the best that I can. I've grown to be a man. Only humans can understand. Is, that, is it from a movie? Is it from Titan A.E.? <laughs> <laughs> it's my time, time. to fly. Ah! Turn, turn to fly. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's such a good soundtrack. It was such a good soundtrack. Yeah. That whole movie was really great, except that for the, cool. they named the planet Bob. <laughs> and nothing against Bob. Bob's a cool name, but I mean, come on. 
that, that part never made it's sense a, to me. Because it was such a like serious movie. It was such a serious movie. Yeah. Yeah. It was a really good movie. It was a good movie. I mean, and that scene right there where they're flying through the clouds and everything like yeah, that. Ooh. That was awesome. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Because there's like a lot of like more like deep in 30, 43, the refugees survive. The whole of humanity lies in my hand. That might have given it away yeah. a little bit. But I couldn't like yeah. give it away too much. But I did start with the very beginning of the song, which is like, you know. Yeah. So I did a good job. You did a good job. Okay. You did a good job. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Do you want to do another? Or should I go? I'll do one more. Okay. <clears throat> I think I have more than you, though, so. With a little sweetness and simple numbing me. Yeah, stumble till you crawl. Whoa. Oh. 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 <laughs> Sinking into sweet uncertainty. What? <laughs> Is that the chorus or a verse? I just chose a random place. Come on. I, I, come on, because if I start in the beginning, you're going to know. Uh... <laughs> what a simple sweet and simple numbing me. What a dizzy dance. Whoa. Oh. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Let me give you another one. This sweetness will not be concerned with me. Okay, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to keep going. I literally No, the sweetness will not be concerned with me. Can you give me like a genre of music? Um kind of like our, our teenage years. Okay. Some kind of rock. Okay, okay. I'll, let me give you another All rock. Hand. Are you listening? Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Are you oh. listening? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Sweetness by Jimmy Eat yeah, World. Yeah, yeah. Sweetness will not <laughs> be concerned with me. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, See, like you knew it. I did, I did. It's, oh, man. Oh, it's okay. so tough. Okay. So, so I, an, an interesting note before we like dive into this. It was really interesting thinking of like what songs to choose because depending on who's listening to this and what age they're, mm. what age they are and everything, it could be like, like there's they could have no chance whatsoever to get it because we want you guys to be able to play along too. Yeah, as we want. We play yeah, this. but like it, it's interesting because I think that when we were teenagers, everyone our age knew the songs that were like the songs. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I feel like everyone listened to radio. There wasn't yeah, it was as radio, much. It was harder, and then you you got CDs. I feel like an old fogey now. There wasn't this streaming thing going yeah. on and stuff. But it's, it's not just streaming. Yeah, it's Pandora YouTube. didn't exist until like college. Yeah, but it's also like YouTube and anyone can make music now. And that music can get really popular. And everyone's musical interests are just like expanding so much. There's no like, okay. There's less guaranteed overlap. There's less guaranteed overlap these days. For like newer which is stuff, yeah. crazy, you know? So it's like I chose I, yeah, I some really, older things. I yeah. chose some things from pop. I chose some things that I just like – Thought it would be funny to 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 sing like t like like tempt you with like these songs, like where you kind of know them but you don't know I them. Know. Like the so first, I'm just yeah. just trying to make it like interesting. Yeah, let us yeah. know how many you guys get. Let us know if we're like completely okay. off your entire like genre and okay. everything like that. Okay. Or if you have any requests for like genres. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I was gonna say if they do a song request, and, and then both of us will see. see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now and then, I think of all the times you screwed me over, but had me believing it was something, it was always something I'd done. It sounds like an Avril song or something like that. But I don't want to live that way. Reading in to every word you say, you said that you could let it go. <laughs> Nothing. And I wouldn't catch you hung up. Give me a genre. It's kind of indie sounding. Indie. It's not that old. <laughs> okay. You can get addicted to a certain kind of sadness. Like resignation in the end. Always the end. <laughs> Poor sing it. <laughs> oh, so oh, when we found out that end. we could not make sense, well, you said that we could still be friends, but I'll admit that I was glad it was over. Sounds These like both... Blink-182 or Linkin Park <laughs> no, lyrics or something. No. no, it is kind of, yeah. Okay, do you want me to go? A little, a little, a little stronger okay. of a hint. Because right now I'm pulling up a zero. <laughs> but you didn't have to cut me off. <laughs> you Make out at... like it never happened and that we were nothing. Is it like Taylor Swift? No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, okay, this is the chorus. 
The, those two lines I just said. I'll continue. Oh, what? what? Oh, those was, two lines are the, the chorus. The chorus. We've sang this song together. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm letting you down. <laughs> and I don't even need your love, but you treat me like a stranger. And that feels so rough. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> I go, uh, like, like, that was so funny because I think that I impressed you so much the first time we played this. You thought I was going to be better, and this is what it really is okay, mostly okay, gonna okay, okay, like, going to be like. Like, like, sing a little, sing just a little bit. No, if I sing it, you'll immediately get it. I'll, I'll finish the chorus. <laughs> no, you didn't have to stoop so low. Have your friends collect your records and change your number, and then change your number. Sorry, there was a then. <laughs> I guess that I don't need that though. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody that I used to know. Oh, <laughs> oh no, 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 used to yes. know. Oh my God. Da, na, 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 na. Yes. <laughs> and it feels so rough. I thought the rough would get you for sure. <laughs> or like the but you didn't have to cut me off. But you, but you didn't, didn't have, have to cut, cut me off. off. Right? I had to read like the entire song for you. <laughs> okay, okay. One more. Give me a second chance. Okay, okay. Man, my cheeks are getting like sore from smiling. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> this there's definitely lines that I cannot say. I'm never gonna catch my breath. Say goodbye to those who knew me. Boy, was I a fool. Never gonna catch my breath. <laughs> Move on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd give you an easy one. <laughs> I thought I'd start with like a middle part because yeah. there's I couldn't start with be a man. <laughs> be a man. That song was just epic. It's so was that so good. epic? Was that was so like good. like <laughs> so freaking epic. I couldn't say I couldn't start at the beginning because when I said let's get down to business. You let's know? get down to business <laughs> to, to defeat. defeat. The Huns. <laughs> it, re, like reading the lyrics really made me want to watch that movie. Oh again. yeah, we should maybe. Well, maybe just go back and watch some Disney classics. We were hanging out with, with my and my brother and his friend Ben recently, and they quoted it. Uh, They're like, "Dishonor on you, dishonor on your cow," and I was like, "Oh my god, I need to watch Mulan again." <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, this might be really easy. This might be really hard. Okay. More than hour. Hour never. Ever after. Work is over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Work it, make it. Uh, oh, it's um Daft Punk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Work it. Make, make it, it. Make do it. it. Make it. Makes make us harder. I, I was like, because I was like, these words sound familiar, but they don't actually make sentences. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that was an easy one. That was an easy one. <clears throat> That let was me, good, though. Let, that let was me good. do. Oh, thank you. Thank because you. it was like yeah, very right? hard to guess out like, when it's not to the rhythm. Yeah, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Standing there alone. The ship is waiting. All systems are go. Are you sure? All systems are go. Control is not convicted, but the computer has the evidence. No need to abort. The countdown starts. Is it? Uh, um, uh, Watching Tom. in a trance. Tom. The crew is certain. Major Tom? Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Major Tom to ground control. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You have kind of a space theme. The Daft Punk, oh, Titan yep. AE, yep, Major yep. Tom. Maybe I had something subconscious going on in my head. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. And then sweetness my is just random. Oh, well, we, we've been listening to that. Yeah. Because yeah. we've been listening to, like, high school music. <laughs> we've okay. been, like, going back in time. I've been DJ Caitlin in the car. <laughs> okay. Hot like wasabi when I bust rhymes. Big like Leanne rhymes because I'm all about value. Bert Campfer's got the mad hits. You try to match wits. Oh, Macklemore. No. No? Oh, dang it. <laughs> you try to hold me, but I bust through. Oh, man, I thought it was Macklemore. All right, keep on going. <laughs> it's so hard for me to not sing this. <laughs> Gonna make a break and take a fake. I'd like a stinking, aching shake. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it like white person rap. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I think I might know the guy, okay. but I forgot his name. Okay. It's not a, the artist is not a guy's name. Okay. It's like the name of the group. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll do a different section. There's some sections <laughs> I definitely can do. Hold it now and watch the hood wink as I make you stop. Think. 
you'll think you're looking at Aquaman. <laughs> what? I summon fish. <laughs> what? To the dish. <laughs> I do not remember this part at all. Although I like the chalet Swiss. I like the sushi because it's never touched the frying pan. Okay, give me a part where, where like I might have a better chance at this. It's been one week. Oh, it's been <laughs> one week since you looked at me. You know, I couldn't <laughs> do chicken <laughs> and china. <laughs> Michael Sabi would know that's right. I'm speaking like I'm because so like, I'm all about value. Let do the next part. Do you want me to do chickity china part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chickity china, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. Watch the next files and the lights on. Who's all the man's on? Hold smoky hands with this one. Like Harrison Ford, a guinea fan chick. Frantic. Just damn tantric. Like secrets guaranteed to satisfy. Like Kurosawa, I make mad films. Can't don't make films. But if I did, they have a samurai. Gotta get a side of better clubs upon the common tiny nubs. So my arms are always flying off the back screen. Gotta get into the Sailor Moon because that cartoon has got the boom in it, babe. They made me think the wrong thing. I can literally do the whole song. Oh, man. I used to pride I just, myself. I just realized I was doing like a really <laughs> bad doing, sitting dance. It's okay. You were doing the widest dance and I was doing the widest rap. <laughs> But I used to like, I don't, actually, no, I still do. I still do. I pride myself. If I can memorize a song that is really, really fast. Yeah, she, she likes it. I really like it. <laughs> she really, I really likes like it. it. If something comes out and it's really fast, I kind of have to memorize it. Like, I'll look up lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I was younger, if a CD came with the lyrics in the CD, you know, some, it, it would come and, like, it would have the lyrics. Sometimes, if you're lucky, it would have the lyrics yeah. for all the songs. Sometimes it might just be, like, five of the songs. Yeah. But when it had lyrics, mm, because we didn't have internet, you know? I think that we each get two more songs, and that's it. We're, we've, we've, we're going to start running over soon. Okay. Well, right, here, we'll right, my turn. Okay. This is like a wild card. You might get it right away. You might never get it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start with like an easier one because it's, 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 you just might not even know the song at all. And I know you know it. You can you start with the harder it. part. You can start with the harder part. Okay, okay. I'll start with the harder part. You asked for it. <laughs> Love was changing the minds of pretenders while chasing the clouds away. Our hearts were ringing in the key that our souls were singing. As we danced the night, remember how the stars stole that night away. But hey, hey, hey. Be de yay. What? Say, do you remember? Bay day yay. <laughs> bay day yay. Like bay, like what's up, bay? Like that kind of bay? <laughs> like B A E B? Well, if I keep on going, I might give it away. Okay. I, well, I have no okay, idea right see. now. Remember how we knew love was here to stay. Now December found the love that we shared in September. Oh, septem- September? Yeah. yeah. I was wondering if I- <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like. <laughs> Wait, is it really Bay Day? <laughs> bay Day. That, that was not Bay. Daddy, yeah. Say, do you remember? Bay Day. Yeah. I didn't realize it was. I thought Dancing it was, in September. I thought it was, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's Bad Day, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Bad Day, yeah. yeah. Say, do you remember? Wow. Bad Day, yeah. Dancing in September. Because I can't say, like, Bad Day. Like, <laughs> yeah, you should have said Bad Day, yeah. <laughs> Can't say bay de yay. <laughs> I call false, uh, <laughs> false false reading. Faltering. False reading. <clears throat> bay de yay. I thought I was thinking if it had bay in it, it had to be reason. <laughs> I was like, is bay that where you, I was gonna guess like bay Rihanna. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but but that's like I'm, I'm reading it. <laughs> I'm just that, reading the lyrics. Say, that does not say it's B A space. Ba. Yeah, ba, de, not bay. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and yeah, not yay. <laughs> I feel like the cards are being stacked against me. Oh, I probably wouldn't have gotten, gotten it anyways. <laughs> okay. This might this this is way too easy. I'm, I'm I'm trying to find like you can give me a harder one. I'm trying to find like a hard part, but like we we know all the lyrics to this. Like all maybe of them. you can read it really in a creative way where you mix up the sentences like <sighs> the pacing. Even though she moved away, we always get calls from our daughter. She has oh, eyes just like her father. It's fun. It's the yeah. gambler. Yeah. Oh. I know. It's like, you can't do any of it without oh, knowing it. Because I know everyone. Yeah. Oh, I love that song. I love that song. Oh, yeah. come, on, give me, come on, give me all teared all up. Tears, I learned yeah. that song on piano for you. Yeah, yeah, you did. To impress yeah. you. Yeah. When, when we were just starting to Courting. Date, when we were courting. <laughs> I wanted to impress you. I was very impressed. I really was. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm going to cry to you now, but. All right. <laughs> sorry. I could not do it. I had to do it at I one know. of these points. I know. It's a very special song. Okay. Okay. Do you want to do a, a hard one? Since that one, I guess, really. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you, you can't. 
Okay. There's literally no words. There, about there's Bon-Jovi literally no words. <laughs> yeah. And even if I try to like mix it up, okay. <laughs> Going from like a very sentimental song to uh, another type of song. <laughs> Ride my little Pooh Bear. Want to oh. take a chance? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's glass animal. Oh dang it! <laughs> it's uh, like how, gooey. What, what? it's gooey. It's gooey. Yeah. It's like what could I have done? My, my woozy womb. <laughs> a no. woozy womb. That one's Dope got some. Is so good. That one's a got silky some, smooth perfume. That one's got some weird lyrics. I'm surprised yeah. you chose that one to read. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. That's it's a weird, weird song. Oh, man. <laughs> I love it so much, though. Glass it's so animals. good. It's like so good. Yeah. Glass Animals, just all of it. Or that whole album. Yeah. See, the thing is that, that, that gets you in trouble with these songs that I like a lot is I, I memorize them. Okay. What about what about one? This is really he- easy, but also maybe hard. Maybe if I choose a good part. Let me, let me try one more time. Okay. Okay. I want to roll him a hard pair. Why? <laughs> we will be a little gambling. It's fun when you're with me. I love it. And baby, when it's love. Oh, if poker it's, face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it was poker face. I was trying to like slice it up really no, poorly. You did. you did. It's like if I had started with Russian roulette is not the same without a gun. No, oh, no, I would have yeah, would have gotten it right away. Our singing this episode. <laughs> Beautiful. I apologize. Beautiful. Okay, your last your last go okay. and then the, the, this ends it. Okay. Finish it. Ain't got a care in the world, but got plenty of beer. Ain't got no money in my pocket, but I'm already here. Macklemore? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not every song is Macklemore. <laughs> and now <laughs> the dudes are lining up. Is this an old song or a new song? I mean, in the like time period of songs we've done in this episode, it's yeah. medium. <laughs> medium. Okay. So two, the- 2000s. Two, they're- it's, it's past 2000s. Okay, past 2000s. Maybe it might yeah. be 2010s. Okay. Yeah. I, I think 2000s. Yeah. But in between. I'll, I'll do another section. I'm talking pedicure <laughs> on our toes, toes. I'm talking pedicure on our toes, toes. <laughs> Turn on our toes, toes. Kesha? Yeah, it's Kesha. Okay. Tick tock. Tick tock. Oh, yeah, I couldn't do don't stop, make it pop. Yeah, no, no, no. All right. And Next I couldn't song. do, yeah. There's a lot I couldn't do in that one. I couldn't do... <laughs> wake, wake up in, in the, the morning, morning feeling, feeling like, like P. Diddy. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. No one's saying, do this. Now when I say that, no one's saying... Be there! <laughs> <laughs> Disney. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I, is I was it like, Aladdin? I was, no, no, you're right, you're right. I was like, why does this sound weird when I read it? It's because it's mixing the lyrics with what Zazu is saying. Oh. No one's saying do this. No one's saying be there. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> this is wrong. Wait, I don't The know. lyrics are wrong? Here, we'll cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Let's, let's keep it. What? Right? what? Okay, no one. Here, right here, right here. This is a section. Yeah. No one's saying do this. Oh, yeah, because it's like, no one's saying do this. No, when I said that, no one's saying be there. What I meant was, no one's saying stop, stop that. that. Look, what you don't realize, no, no one's saying, saying see, see here. here. Now see, see here. here. <laughs> oh, it was really hard to, like, Free to run around all day. No, it's definitely out. <laughs> right? He says Free that. Free to do it all my way. Yeah, that, that, is, that is so I confusing. I like a really hard section. Yeah. Because it's like talking with the singing. And you got it, though. I'm yeah. impressed. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Don't look at my document. <laughs> no, scroll. but that's it. That's it. No. That's the end of the program. No. Do, you want, do, you want, do you want to do one more? One more. <laughs> okay. One more, guys. <clears throat> What's so funny is you gave me the pass on that. I knew I knew the song. I knew it was Disney, but I was having trouble placing it. I was like, is that Mermaid? Is that Aladdin? Is that... And I was getting to Lion King, but like you, you gave it to me anyways a little early. I appreciate yeah. it. Well, <laughs> I would have yeah. gotten there. Okay. I have one. I'm just going to... I can't do too many lines in a row <laughs> because of the cursing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> so I'm just going to give you individual lines. All okay. right. Get your towels ready. It's about to go down. That's, that's a line. <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. No. Here's another line from somewhere else in the song. We're drinking Santana Champ because it's so crisp. <laughs> Go on. Here's another. I literally can't do like two lines in a row. <laughs> <laughs> There's that much cursing? Uh, <laughs> uh. Okay. Hey, Ma. You could see me now. Arms spread wide. 
With arms wide open. No. <laughs> on the starboard bow. On the. Oh! I'm on a boat and I'm going fast and. <laughs> we got a nautical theme. Fetch me to ask. <laughs> yes. Lonely Island. Mm-hmm. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. <laughs> that's good. That's good. There are lots of lines you can't take. They'll give lot. it away. Yeah, it, you straight would... flipping copies. Yeah, yeah. I want to say flippy floppy so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a good one to end on. Okay, so after all those songs, what do you think is going to be stuck in your head the most when we end this? Well, right mine. now it's flippy floppies, but mine is still Mulan. Oh yeah, yeah. that's not a bad problem. Man, that montage. That montage though. Yeah. It's so oh, good. So good. It's so good. All you need is a montage. Montage. <laughs> oh, well, here, let's 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 uh, get out to our favorite things of the week. Oh, yeah. We still got stuff to talk about. Oh, yeah. My gosh. Come on. Okay. Come on. I just get so excited for the games, especially <laughs> the song related games. Yeah. They're your they're favorite. I okay. like them, too. I was getting so excited when I was like, there's still some that I'm like so excited to get to. I didn't even get to all of mine. Me, too. I have even more. Oh, my gosh. Next Part time. three coming soon. Next One time. One day, some. But might not be the next time. Oh, uh, time. Coming in time. <laughs> Coming in time. <laughs> All right. So what's your favorite thing of the week, Caitlin? Okay. <clears throat> so it's, we started playing this game called Unraveled. Oh, Is it, it's it Unraveled 2. Unraveled 2. Oh, yeah. Unraveled 2. T-W-O. Really? And it's Unravel, Unraveled. Yeah, Unraveled. Yeah, Unraveled 2. Yeah. And it's on the Switch. I think it might be on other platforms too, but it's so cute. It's so cute. It's a, it's, so I think you can play it one player, but it's really great playing two player. It's a great couples game. It's not just like, you know, some, some games where you switch from one player to two player. It's like you're still kind of just doing the same thing and you could, like the game dynamic doesn't really change because you have two people, but with this, it changes so much in the way you have to like work together because you're these two little characters connected by a string and you're like helping each other maneuver through this world. The whole game is designed for two player co-op basically. And it's, it shines there. Yeah. It shines. It's it's so good. It's It's cute. It has a good story. It's fun. There's good puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. Really great. Like chill puzzle game. If you want like a chill puzzle game. Um, And it's just super cute. Yeah. We'll have a link to it in the description down below. And we'll probably be playing it soon. Yeah. We'll we'll be playing it on the stream. (laughs) Yeah. On Twitch. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So my my favorite thing, it's it's kind of lame, kind of a little bit lame, but I've really been having fun doing it. It's not really a new social media platform, but like people who have social media platforms can start a Amazon store that has all of their favorite stuff. And I don't know why, but I've just... Had a lot of fun collecting all of the stuff from all of our projects, all of the different things, categorizing them. It's very visually pleasing to see them all laid it's out. It's like and Pinterest stuff. that you can shop. Yeah, so there's of. different like little categories that you can group things under. And you can also post a photo and tag all of the products that you used. Yeah. Because we get a lot of questions about like the camera or the gear or the art supplies or the, you know, tools and all of that. And we put a lot of time and effort and thought into like what we buy and we try a lot of things out. So it's fun to share it with you guys. And it's just a really neat one place, one stop shop for all of our favorite Amazon stuff. So Yeah, where's just one <clears> link to share? Yeah, it'll be the link will be down below, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's just like um Amazon.com slash shop slash Evan and Caitlin. So it's a yeah. nice URL too and everything. Um, and we're going to keep that updated um, as we go forward. It's it's my new, it's not my new favorite thing, but it's definitely my thing of the week. Yeah, and you've been pretty obsessed with it. It's crazy too because like we just started there and our, our things are already getting like a lot of engagement, a lot of views. Yeah. And it's like we're able to include the link to our videos and the, those like little images too and everything. And it's like, what cool. the heck even is this? It's like this completely untapped. I know. Platform. I know like the Modern Maker guys are on it, but I haven't really heard of other people doing it. No, it's so crazy. It's just like, it's bonkers. I don't know. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really bonkers. (laughs) (laughs) Um, uh, Yeah, that's it. (laughs) (laughs) It's a good thing. (laughs) Good thing. Good thing. Good things of the week. Well, thanks so much for for, um, watching you guys. I know that, uh, or listening, whichever one you decided to do. Um, I know that that we've gotten some questions about when we're going to do the how-to YouTube thing. We're still deciding which format works best. We were going to do video, then we're going to do podcast. Now we're going back and forth. So we're going to be recording a test of that coming up soonish. And then we'll, we'll let you guys know as it progresses. We haven't given up on it. We haven't stopped. We're just moving forward with it 
even more in multiple directions. We just really want it to be good. Yeah. And we want to do it once and be like done. Yeah. In a way, <laughs> it's a you lot know, of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, but thanks so much for listening and we'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.